Hello all and welcome to a brand new EU4 Let's Play. We're going to play as Holland. I want to form the Netherlands and see what we can do with regards to an international empire. It'll be a slow start to the series and hopefully get better as we go along. Um, I'd also like to address the uh, lack of recordings and videos for the last three weeks. Um, we've just got behind, you know, shit got in the way. But we'll get back on it now. Um, more regular episodes. Um, so let's get started. Hello, Iron Man. I'll cut this little part out while I put the end. Holland! The orange. I hope Netherlands is orange. Hmm. Here we go then. Right, we're into the game. Now, the first thing I'm thinking, because I'm a bit of a football fan, is that I hope Holland, when they form Netherlands, go bright orange, because that, that would be awesome. Um, now, let's get the usual things out of the way. Let's seize the crown land. Just so we don't have the negative effects. We'll summon the diet as well. What do they want? Yeah, they want a happy Pope. You want a happy Strasbourg. Um, you just get me loyalty. You get me papal influence. And you get me trade power. So what do you want? Um, I'm going to go with Popey. It's easier. So, yeah, we'll send one over here. Diplomacy. Let's get all these opened up. I hate it when it shrinks. I know it's, you know, it looks better, but... Anyway, here we go. That's going on. Now, I've just shrunk that down. Let's have a little look that situation. So we are a junior partner to Burgundy. So at some point, we're going to have to fight for our freedom. Freedom! We have no William Wallace. We have Krabby. Me. Uh, but in the meantime, let's take advantage of our relationship with Burgundy. Try and stay safe. If they get into a war with someone, I might declare a war for independence. And do I... Yeah, I've got four... I think... Is it an actual fort here? Yes, it's an actual fort. Okay, it's not just a capital fort. So, we will mothball. I'm also going to shrink the army maintenance down to a minimum. I have no interest in supporting it while um, a junior partner. Now, let's have a look at the Dutch ideas. Um, so, we've got yearly inflation reduction. That will be useful. Um, Dutch trading spirit. Yeah, okay, merchants, trade range, pretty good. Development cost, excellent. Oh, there's my microphone here. Hello, microphone. Just... There we go. Um, tolerance to heretics, yeah, so we're going to go down the humanist route. We're going to try and stick to that. Siege ability, nice. Land fire damage is all right. And here, uh, sailors modifier, naval force limit. That makes sense, I suppose. And then um, once we've got the full ambitions, we get trade efficiency. And let's have a look, look over here, what our plan is. So, we need to control the English Channel. The English won't be happy about that. Uh, Defender of the Faith later on. Try and become the Emperor. We need to become part of the Empire, I suppose. Am I part of the Empire? Uh, yes, sort of. But not quite. Um, we'll see what we can do there. I need Trade Power in Lubeck. I need 20 light ships, so we'll get onto that at some point. Um, assert our sovereignty. So we need to own four core provinces and we'll get some military power and unite the lowlands. So we want to get all this together to form the Netherlands. Now decisions to form the Dutch nation we need to be admin level 10 so it's a way off but we also need to own Breda, Utrecht and Gelra. So our aim is to take all these these three and that's enough to form our nation and start some new mission trees. Um... So, yeah, we're going to make friends with these. Let's have a little look to see if anybody would support our independence. It's fairly early on, so it's doubtful. Oh, no, we could. England and Castile. I will go with Castile, actually. Um, England, I'm not going to get on with later on. I know that Castile, if they pursue their mission tree, they will get some claims on my land over here. But I'll deal with that as and when. So, let's move time forward. Bit of a long intro there, five minutes, but it's all good. I'm quicker than most. 
That's what she said. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it is what she said. How much money am I making? Three ducats. Let's just double check that. Yeah, three ducats. Okay, so... What would be ideal for me? Ideal group. I think I want to go maritime. What do I want trade? I mean, trade would be very strong, wouldn't it, This for me? As the Dutch. Trade and economy. I'd be making a fortune. I'm going to go trade, humanist. And the military ideas. I might... I can't go naval immediately. I might have to do that later on. Because um, I need some strong soldiers. But, yeah. Okay. So, for now, you just... Go for neighbouring countries. Oh, actually. Who are the electors? Are any that like me? No. Okay. <laughs> there aren't. We've got no pals. Do we... We're a junior partner, aren't we? So we can't get a royal marriage. I'm going to speed five for a bit. It's going to be a bit quiet. Ah, I haven't done my ships. Right, we've got the cogs. Yeah, that's fine. And trade ships. Yes. Okay, protect trade. Um, You do the English Channel. And I want another load of these ships. Okay. I'll just get the two for now. That'll get me to my naval force limit. Something I'm going to have to build up over time. Do I need to get to my force limit for the missions? I can't remember. Was that one? No. It's just get 20 uh, ships. Okay. Not a problem. I'm not sure whether I should push for independence early on. I don't think so. Oh! They've died already? Wow, okay. So Charles is the infertile one. Can't remember what happens to the Dutch when they die. We'll see. Um. Oh yeah. Right, so prestige would be useful. Let's get you. Um. Yeah, trade efficiency is going to be good. You'll pay for yourself. Um, unforced limit or national manpower. I'm probably going to go... I'm going to leave it for now. I'm not going to focus on military for a while. Come on, Pope. Love me. Wait. I know Burgundy. Ah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So I'm making friends with Burgundy. Nice. Might as well. Hopefully I inherit them. Ooh, England and France are at war. Right, we're going to teach them to war. Now, France, nine times out of ten, wins that. Been getting a lot of games recently where England just give up Maine. Which is quite unusual, but it's been happening. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so Burgundy have... ...rented out their soldiers. Odd choice, but it's what they've done. Yeah, you go over there. There we go, get more money. We rule as we see fit, we get more prestige, lose stability. I'll do that. Then I'll go to boost the stability. Yeah, well. I don't care about the extra admin cost. Well, I'll sort it out. Actually, I do care about the admin cost because I want those ideas. And I'm going to actually put a focus on it. Now that that's so low, I suppose it would make sense to get something there. I'm going to go discipline just in case we get any surprise wars on us. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how things are going. Nice and slow, I know, but still. Progress is progress. Yes, everybody's making friends with everyone. 
Want Burgundy to love me. There we go. We're going to get Papal Influence now. Can I get a new estate? Not until 1449. That's going to be a little while. I'm going to see what happens with the Burgundian inheritance as a Dutch person on this. Because I'm not entirely sure what happens. If it's just game over, well, then it'll be the shortest series I've done. But I want to find out. Okay. Are there any other things that I'd want? The military power would be fine, but they give up crown land. Do I yeah, I do care about crown land at this point. Um, so it's not an equilibrium change, it's just an immediate change. Yeah, okay. I'm going to close that. Might take advantage of some loans later on the burgers at the 1% interest rate and just rinse it for as much as I can. Right, so there's the Burgundian army being hired out. Oh, so are you being friendly with France this time? I didn't actually check that. I should really check your situation. You are trying to get friendly with France. I don't want them to get the Burgundian inheritance. I want me to get it. I want it! Yeah, well, I can't do anything about that anyway. Um, yeah, we'll just... I'll let it spread. I don't care at this point. Everyone can get it. I'll start a new... F Ooh! Civil war and a war with France. England, you're in trouble. Yeah, recall you. Um, Austria, I would like to be friends with you. Hopefully you give me my freedom or something later on. Freedom! Not a lot going on at the moment. I could probably mothball these, actually. Yeah, I shall. I know it doesn't lower much cost, but every little helps. Um, ooh, money or Diplo power. I actually value the Diplo power more at this point. What's the tech situation? Yeah, I'm not that far off. I go by December 49, which is good because that's before the Renaissance kicks in. Generation of cowards. Well, let's get rid of the cowards then. Die! Cowards! Right. Charles the Infertile has taken the throne of Burgundy, and therefore all of his junior partners, because they married well. So Brabant, Landers, and Holland! Yay! Actually, what am I doing? I'm going to... No, I want that. I'm going to stop you. I want to build up a claim over on Utrecht. So, hopefully, Burgundy presses my claim. They will learn to love me. The essential... Um, okay. So, people... Yeah, okay. Master Recruiter. I will switch out, because cheaper is better. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody loves a cheap date, right? Declining influence. I like it. Can I summon the diet yet? Oh, not till November. Selling titles won't get me much, so I'm not going to. I'm hoping that the AI is smart enough to press my claims. You know, like a player would for their vassals. You know, like you take the Byzantine Empire and just keep using their cores to get kind of amazing claims and then annex them once they're huge. Oh, England have taken back some provinces. I can't see that continuing. Not now they're in civil war. I assume I need a 30... Oh, no longer renting out. 
I assume all your soldiers died. I think I'll need a 30 spy network to build a claim on Utrecht. Um, because remember, we need to get Utrecht, Breda, and Gelra, I think it is, to be able to um, form the Dutch nation. But we can't do that till admin level 10 anyway, but... Um, yeah, that's fine. I'd rather have them like me for now. In fact, I want them to really love me, because... I want the lands when they die. If Charles dies. He does have a 5% chance of getting an heir. You know, it's uh, like a D&D &D dice roll. Oh, tech. Yay. Marketplace. Get that in Amsterdam. Yes, yes, yes. And then I need to probably save up a few more ducats to upgrade this to a world port. I actually need a thousand ducats for that. Oh, here we go. Right. Diplomacy. Fabricate claim. Utrecht. Uh, I can't do Brabant, but I could probably do Galra, can't I? So I don't need to spy on you anymore. You're back. Let's go build spy network here. I'm hoping that Burgundy will press this claim for me. It's going to be an interesting game because I may actually lose land if we go to war with the Emperor. Ah, so where did the Renaissance fire? Let's have a quick look. In Rome. Pope, you got it. Good for you, Pope. Hopefully you share it with me. You want more tech? What's going on with this war, then? The Pretender. So who's the Pretender? I can't remember. So is it the Lancasters, or... It's the House of York that's in control at the moment, but it could be Lancaster that takes over. Is that the Pretender, then? Okay. All makes sense. Right, we're building buildings. We've got another tech, which we want to take immediately. We can now build a church. Excellent. Usually I've been in a couple of wars by now, and that gets me a bit behind in the tech at the start. So this is a nice change. Right, recall that. Oh, Brandenburg have got bigger. They've got Newmark back. They must have bought it. Um, I believe you're an elector, so... It would be nice to improve relations with the U. Because, you know, friends in high places. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Okie doke. Alright, Burgundy have built up. Who are you friends with, Burgundy? Allied with Cleves and East Frisia. You pick poor allies. Hmm... So, you know, my prestige is going up by half a year, which is not bad. Another tech. Let's do it. Yes, we've got bonuses. So, we're a year ahead, but we're going to get this penalty starting to kick in. I can't see... Oh, no, it's, it's coming. So, I mean, Den Haag, I think, is my capital at the moment. It, I will change it to Amsterdam as soon as I can. So, let's have a little look at the institution. So, it's coming to us. But how? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Here we go. Ah, just a uh, 10 development European province. If I can get it to 20, I'll get it faster. Ah, oh, I might do that. So, 6, 6, 12. So, I can do that twice. Yeah, I might be able to do this. So that's a 20 development province, and now I'm getting it faster. Yay! Ideal. Worth it. Yeah, bollocks. Grant them privileges? No. Um, I'm going to go with the Diplo, because to me, more important at the moment is the admin, so I get my ideas groups. Oh, Gaura. I want Gaura. 
da, da, da. Now come on, Charlie. Charles de Valois, Bergon, de Bergon. I don't know. Declare war for me. Come on. Declares it. You must declare it, I say. Have England lost their war? Wow, they lost a lot. They lost more than usual. Why did they give up so much? Wait, I'm in a war? Who am I in a war with? Liège? And everyone. Whoops. Did not spot that. Okay. Can we have a leader? No, not yet. Okay, Constantine Jvol. Oh, good manoeuvre. That should lower the attrition, I think. So, we're at war with those, but I don't really want to be. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do much. I think I'm just going to go down to Luca. Just wonder about down here. I can't really protect myself. So if any big stack comes along, they're going to wipe me. So I'm just going to try not to be involved. If at all possible. Oh, shit. Well, there goes my army. Nuts. I was actually winning for a while. They actually lost more men. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, well. I thought they might leave it unattended. I was hoping, anyway. Oh, I can build a church. I'm going to do it before I run out of money. Amsterdam! I'll make you my capital eventually. Ooh, why am I still spying on you? Don't need to. Now I'm just going to target neighbours. My liberty desire has just gone down, apparently. Anybody up here that we're at war with? Doesn't look like it. Okay. How even is this war? Burgundy are surprisingly strong at the start of the game. And Austria are surprisingly weak. Hmm. You got any loot left? Yeah, here. I'll take that. <laughs> Give me your money. Because I need it. See, I helped. Do I get any war contribution for this? Uh, I don't think it counts as my participation, whatever I do anyway. Because I'm just a vassal. So I'm just going to devastate their lands. Um, prestige would be nice. Um, yeah, I don't need the rest. So yeah, we'll go with that. As the state and its bu bureaucracy grow, there is an ever-growing need of people to oversee the administrative <laughs> various lands and functions. Administrate. I can't read today. The nobility have tr traditionally been more associated with military services to the state, but have increasingly made it clear that they still expect to be first in line when government offices are being handed out. The burghers, on the other hand, claim that the nobility consider such appointments as mere rewards and will use them only to enrich themselves. Instead, the burgers argue, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's a pretty standard one. So I can either get Diplo Rep. I can't really do that with the burgers already hating me. Global Trade Power. I could do that. I like that. Or monthly autonomy change. I'm going to go with the Trade Power. And then just loot their lands. I'm not going to get involved in any fights, really. I might go and fight these guys. Anton von Habsburg. They've been led by their leader there. Yeah, okay. Anybody want to jump on? I think we could do that one. Okay, but now you're a two-stack jumping in on your own, it looks like. 
No. Lucky you're fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've just been like a little busy wasp sort of thing during this little area, this is time. They're not sieging me, which is nice. You think I can? No. I'm going to go up to Amsterdam. Do I feel comfortable taking on a 7 stack, maybe? I don't know. It looks like we've got the beating of them. It's just nobody's defending. And is this 7 on their own? I could. Just add a couple of men, I suppose. Recall. Who else is an elector? Cologne, you are. There we go. Cologne, we make friends, yes. House of Lancaster won. Excellent. Interesting. Right, let's go fight. Yeah, did. Not a wipe, but... Oh, are they going to get stuck there? No. I'm going to ask for help anyway. Oh, brilliant. Send me money. And soldiers. Okay. Right, okay, so we've recovered. We need to take out these pretender rebels. Come on. Win it. Win it. Good job. Right. I did lose a lot there. But we, we did enough. Government reform. Um, apparently the manpower is the way to go. So that's what I'm going to go for. It's something that I'll probably struggle with as a Dutch nation. So, Oh, they're still alive. I don't think they would be. There we go. Oh, an advisor has died. That's unfortunate. Oh, another prestige one. Yep, yeah, I'm going for the prestige. I think it'll help me. I don't know why. I get the impression that it does affect kind of how the inheritance works. I assume the more prestigious you are, the more likely they are to trust you. Let's go kill these guys. Alright, so... I would say that Austria are in a bit of trouble now. No, Austria have got more men. They've used a lot of their manpower by the looks of it. Okay. Um, let's see if we can find them. They've got... <laughs> oh! Wow! I accidentally stopped recording. <laughs> Sorry, I got a random follow there from uh, Twitch. Don't know why. Uh... I haven't streamed for a couple of months now. But anyway. Right. We're going to just go back and defend. We're going to go over. Once we get home, I'm going to finish the episode. Um, and we'll carry on the war next time. Right. So if you've enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Toodles.